Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you make predecessors for tasks in different ways. First of all, you can see that I already made my task list with phases and with milestones. So let's say that for design number uh, two in phase number two, I want to have a predecessor designed from phase number one. The easiest way is to put number of tasks. So you can see the task in phase one, task design in phase one has number is task number two here. So I will simply put here in task number seven, which is designed for phase number two, I will see, I will put task number from phase number one, and I will get this finish to start relationship. If I want, for example, start to start relationship, I can just simply put to an SS, start to start. And this is the simplest way. So if I want to put, let's say that uh, design for phase uh, number three will start with phase number one and phase number two, design in phase number one and phase number two, I should remember number uh, task number, which is two, and here seven, and I can put here two, start, start, semicolon, seven, start, start. It can, it can be complicated if you have a large number of tasks. So let's say that you have uh, 25 phases, and now let's say that I'm here, and I want to put all my design tasks as predecessors. So I should remember or write down task number two, task number seven, task number 12. And this is not convenient way. So for that uh, purpose, for let's say for task number uh, uh, number 17, which is designed for phase four, I will just click here. Instead of typing task number, I will click here and I will choose design for phase number two, for phase number seven, uh, phase, uh, design for phase number two, and design for phase number three. And I will just uh, uh, go back. But here, when I choose uh, tasks from task list, I cannot easiest in easiest way put start to start relationship. So now I know what are my tasks. I will go to edit mode by hitting F2 and then I can just go and change this as it should be. For example, two SS, seven SS and 12 SS. But this is not the easiest way. The easiest way when you have a number of tasks is to just go here in design task, double click here, go to predecessors and choose here, let's say, design from here, design from phase number two here, but you will see that there is an error here because if I choose task number seven, task number two will be copied. So for now, until Microsoft will not fix it, I will replace that task ID with right ID, which is from from my example, number seven. And from test task uh, phase number three, I will choose design, okay. And here it is 12. Now here I can choose and task, task type as well. So here I can choose start to start, start to start, and start to start, and I can hit okay. And you will see that I will get what I wanted. The last but not least is, let's say that I want to get the same result for design in phase number five. So here I will not use the same screen as previously. So from task information predecessors, but I will go here in view tab and I will go to details. I will have a task form and in task form I can uh, I can right click and I can choose which screen do I want. Do I want 
resources from the, on the left side and predecessor on the right side? Do I want resources and successors? Or I want predecessors and successors. For, that, for this purpose, I will choose this one. So predecessor and successor. And I can say, say four, five, phase number five, which is designed here, okay. I will choose all predecessors. So from phase number one, from phase number two, and I will click here since this is phase number two, which is which has task ID seven. I will put here seven, okay. And because this is error once again, and I will put here two, which is annoying, but until Microsoft fix it. And from phase number three, I will put let's say twelve. And from phase number four, I will put. 17 and here I can choose the task type as well so here finish to finish finish to start start to finish and start to start if I don't put uh, anything here finish to finish will be automatically added but here I want to start to start and here start to start and here start to start and here start to start and after I click on OK I will see that I have a problem because you cannot link a predecessor task twi twice to the same successor task. So in that, in this particular case, everything is wrong because Microsoft has an error here. So I will put here, okay, okay, and then I will erase this because I cannot do it, so I'll click on cancel. But what will happen if I have here different task name? So design, let's say that this is design one, design two, design three, design four, and design five. What will happen now if I want to put the same thing here? So I will go here, I will go to task form once again, and I will say here I have design one, here I have design two, here I have design three, here I have design four, and that's it. And I will say start to start for each of those predecessors. So I hit start to start, start to start, start to start, start to start. And when I click OK, I will get the results. So the problem is with naming convention. Even though you will expect if you have design here and design here and design here, each and every of those designs has his its unique task uh, task ID, but Microsoft Project, from some reason, do doesn't use that task ID. But instead of that, it uses task name, and that is, from my point of view, very very wrong. So if you want to connect predecessors with the same name with uh, uh, using task form, you will not going to be able to do it. On the other hand, let me erase it. If I want to do that, okay, in previous screen, as I show you, so here, if I click, double click here, I can do that, but only if I have uh, multiple tasks with same name, if I choose it here, I will get repeatedly the same the same ID. So I should correct that. And that's it, that it's annoying. And one last thing about successors. So let's say that I want to make successor for design for the development here. Development is successor. 
what can I do? I can do several things. Here, I can add a new column and I can just go to successors. Okay, I can, I am starting with successors, sorry, here, once again, add new column, successors, and I will click on successors and I will see all successors. So if for design four, for example, I want development to be successors, successor, I can just put here design, uh, design uh, uh, the task number, which is development. So I will put here 18 and I will see that 18 is now successor for task 17 at the same time tasks 18 has predecessor task 17. So it is mutually when you put a uh, successor in this field for design four, it will uh, make a development as successor and development will have design four as predecessors. Also, you can do it here on task form. So here I can put, as you can see here in design four, I have predecessor name, which is design one, Essex and successor name is design three and design four. So, but I will recommend not to play with successors. It's hard to play with successors. It's much easier to play with predecessors, but it's up to you. I hope this helped. Thank you very much and goodbye.